Welcome back to a new video and uh, today I want to show you this uh, software called Google, Google Search, which is an, uh, as it's described here on GitHub, a self-hosted ad-free privacy respecting meta search engine. So if we go in the readme, this meta search engine only supports uh, Google results, but as it's written here, without ads, JavaScript, uh, AMP links, etc. And uh, you can um, deploy it uh, with uh, it's a Python package, so you can install it with pip or even uh, with Docker as I did. And it's uh, very simple to use, to set up, even simpler than a Cirx, which is another uh, meta search engine. This one here. And uh, I just learned that it's, the um, Cirx has been archived, I didn't know that. It's um, not maintained anymore. Anyway, going back to the to Google. Okay, so let's see the features. So you'll get no ads, uh, no JavaScript, no cookies. Yeah, it has it written here, no third party JavaScript, no third party cookies. And yeah, these are the most uh, important things anyway. So unlike search where you had uh, lots of, um, it connected to lots of different uh, search engines, D this one, Google only connects to Google, so keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, here there are all the instructions for setting it up, but it's, um, yeah, you can even um, get the results via Tor optionally, but I wouldn't do that. I would use Tor browser for that. And so what I did uh, uh, was to use the Docker configuration with Docker Compose, which you'll find in the, um, here. On the rules of the repository, you'll find the, the Docker Compose file, which is uh, yeah, just a simple file, nothing yeah, even less than 50 lines. And yet, yeah, or the only thing you need to um, configure to get it working is the ports. So in this example, the ports are five five thousand. Maybe you should change that. So we'll see it in a moment. And so, so let's see. This is an instance I installed. So it's running on port. Uh, 4013 on localhost. This is uh, the home uh, Google web page. So if we try a query, for example, Linux. See, it's uh, a little slower than uh, Google, but it works nonetheless. I think the results are mostly the same, even in the same order. As you can see, at least most of them are. Yeah, so if you put this in the whole screen, so you get, yeah, normal results. It is quite fast anyway. If we go to the images, you get these kinds of images. Okay, so if we see the trackings here, we get no no trackings. Okay, and if we do the same on Google, see there are several blocked uh, elements by uBlock origin which is this plug this um, extension here so i think it keeps up with the promise of having no uh, trackings okay so now i want to show you the browser storage so on the left there is still google on the right google and as you see if we start with the cookies uh, Google only needs a session cookie, uh, while Google has lots of cookies, including the consent one. And if we see other fields such as index DB, here's nothing, nothing, local storage, nothing. And here there's a lot of stuff. Session storage, nothing. And here, yeah. There are lots of things going on with Google, but with Google, there's just the session cookie here. 
you can add it to your um, as a default search engine. Okay, so if you go on the um, address bar of your browser, you right click, then you add add the Google search like this, and then you go to the um, settings. So this is Firefox, of course. Go on search and then Google like this. So now it's your default search engine. If we close this for a moment. Okay, so as you see, it works. And yeah, I want to show you the um, configurations here. You can do on the with on the home page. So you can set. You go on the um, yeah, no, it's just this configuration tab. You can set the country. The uh, so, for example, let's try with the United Kingdom. Just. Okay, so these are these options. I think they are very similar to these filters here, maybe. Yeah. The time period is the same. Search language. You can even uh, set um, the theme. So the light, dark or system theme. You can do something like this. Okay, so before closing off the video, uh, there is an important uh, aspect for Google, which is reverse proxying. And so uh, if you go on the um, on the readme of uh, Google, you'll see the instructions for reverse proxying on Nginx. But uh, since I use Apache, I'll uh, show you uh, the instructions for Apache, which are here. Uh, so they are very simple because uh, uh, you just need to set the proxy pass and proxy pass reverse options with the correct port. So in my case, I, I, it is uh, port 1013 as I showed you earlier. And then you just need to set these two headers. Again, very simple. And of course the server name. Uh, so here in the Nginx one, there's a server name here. So, uh, server name, and then these are the um, let's encrypt uh, certificates. So of course you have to replace domain with your Google uh, search domain. And um, since I'm using uh, this uh, uh, this server only in the, my local network, I added these uh, rules here. Access to Google is only possible from these. Uh, uh, so from localhost from uh, these uh, and these two uh, networks. So this one is the Docker network, which I set manually. This is my local network. And of course, uh, this is uh, everything inside a virtual host. And yeah, so after you add this configuration, you just have to run certbot to create a new Let's Encrypt certificate and uh, everything works out. Yeah, so I think uh, it's all for today. Thank you for watching this short video. If you like the video, put a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, bye bye.